So today's lecture is about the modified atomic decomposition method. So let us start with this. Now the statement I have already given to you all this. Now this method is used when non-homogeneous. Now this modified atomic decomposition method. When it is used? It is used when non-homogeneous part consists of polynomials that includes many terms or is the combination of polynomial. Okay? And trigonometric. Either it should be the combination of the polynomials or trigonometric or transcendental function. And this method reduces the computation involved in atomic decomposition method which I have already uh, uploaded the lecture. So this statement you will have to know. It's very simple. Then you will have to consider the Fredlom integral equation. Okay. Fredlom integral equation. Y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t dt. And consider this as equation 1. And you all know that this is your kernel, this is your lambda, which is belongs to the real. And then you all know what is your known functions, unknown functions. This is your non-homogeneous term, right? f of x. Okay, so suppose that f of x has the form this. If this f of x is in the form of this is equal to f of x is equal to f1 of x plus f2 of x such that f1 of x contains one or two terms and f2 of x contains the remaining terms okay so f1 of x will contain one or two, or two terms okay and then the remaining terms f2 will contain next is what hence equation 1 becomes now this equation 1 will become what y of x is equal to now instead of this f of x, this f of x, I will put this f1 of x plus f2 of x. So y of x is equal to f1 of x plus f2 of x plus lambda rest write it as it is. Integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t dt. Then you will have to assume that the solution has the form this. y of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity y n of x. We get y0 of x is equal to f1 of x. Earlier it was y0 is equal to y0 of x is equal to f of x, right? Here it has been split into two parts like one f1 of x and f2 of x. So for y0 of x is equal to f1 of x, and what about y1 of x is equal to f2 of x plus lambda integral from a to b k of x, comma t y0 of t dt. So for y0 it is like this, for y1 it will be like this and it will be so up to many number of terms. So if it is y n plus 1, suppose n is your 1, 1 plus 1 will become what 2, right? So f of x is equal to what lambda integral from a to b. For this last parts you no, know, like for y2, y3, there won't be f1, neither there will be f2. Directly lambda integral from a to b, k of x comma t y n of t okay so if it is 2 n is 2 then this will be what 2 right because this is 2 plus 1 it will become 3 if it is 1 then this will be also 1 okay and here it will be 2 right then dt so remember this where n is greater than or equal to 1 I'll end up my today's uh, this thing the modified uh, domain decomposition method I hope you all have understood in the next lecture I will be solving some problems based on adomain, modified adomain decomposition method as well as adomain decomposition method it's very simple and if you all have not understood any of the concept of today's lecture you all can comment below and thanks for watching